All right, welcome back, Golden Rap Cast. We are doing something different. We are gonna start streaming games, not live, but uh, we're gonna do recordings. We're gonna put them on YouTube. We're gonna put them on Switch if we can. And if you haven't seen my background, I'm gonna be playing Tears of the Kingdom, or at least I am, is I just picked this puppy up just not too long ago and you know having to play with the switch and game record this thing uh took me a while and fuck i'm just glad i get the chance to do this um usually i do have a beer on me uh usually when i'm doing the podcast but uh it's not gonna be any different it's just right now it's a little early in the day a little tired uh i got shit to do later on so uh maybe in another uh, gameplay, I'm probably going to have a drink or two, maybe with Manny, I'm not too sure. But uh, I wanted to get started on Tears of the Kingdom, which, like I said before, I picked it up today in the morning. And it was a pretty, not that long of a line, but, you know, a decent amount. And I knew that shit was going to happen. I pre-ordered the game. I'm super excited. It's a straight sequel to... Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. I didn't play that game right away, but later when I got a Switch, I did play it, and I was blown away. Um, I heard they were going to make a sequel, and now it's here, and I got it on the first day. So I'm super excited. Uh, I'm going to do commentary on it. Uh, this is going to be uploaded on YouTube or wherever I can upload it. And uh, you're not going to see my face. It's just going to be my audio while I play the game. So, you know, it's a better experience and make commentary on it. So uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, like us, Golden Craft Cast, YouTube, Spotify. Uh, we do podcasts. So uh, now we're going to do <laughs> gameplay recordings. So, you know, stay tuned. And let's see how this goes. Super excited. Whoa. strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Oh shit, here we go. Hmm. Ah, this is as I thought. Never imagined this all too deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Log? What the hell's log? Alright. I don't know, I guess it just bosses the game, really. Alright, fuck okay. it. Let's keep going. I like how we have matching outfits. It's kind of funny. Part of the same team. What is this? Okay. People have been falling ill. After coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below. 
so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Let's do so indeed. Alright. I already know how to how the mechanics work on this game. Kind of. Wait, what the hell? I just noticed I have like fucking full hearts. I mean, is that part of the game or did it just transfer the data from Breath of the Wild over to this one? I don't know. Maybe you come up strong and then we Probably. That's my father. If there was anything below the was seeing him. Ah, it's a little bit of a mystery here. So I'm guessing he knew what was down here. It's glowing. Maybe it could detect orcs. Ah, uh, little Lord of the Rings jokes right there. So I just barely got back into Breath of the Wild, just to get used to the controllers. Um, God damn. I kind of hate that Nintendo, as different as they can be, they had to change the mechanics of the controllers. Anyways, yeah, they changed the mechanics of the controller, so I'm thinking I'm playing like an Xbox or PS4 game. You know, the white button is actually on top, but it's not. It's on the left. Oh, look at this bitch. Look at this mother. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like a fucking phone, but honestly, it's like a little tablet that you could take pictures of. Hmm. So, night. So, I mean, I could do a lot of theories about this, but it seems to be like there's some type of like shadow people, some shadow civilization going on. So I'm guessing the new people are the Zonai. I don't know how you say that. Ah. So is this connected to Skyward Sword? Yeah, I never played Skyward Sword, but apparently from what I heard, it's like the prequel to most all the Zelda games. It started off from the sky and somehow ended up in Geo Earth where basically where Hyrule is. So I'm guessing the Zoinite are our ancestors to the Hyruleans. Is that how you say it? Hyrulean? Let me take care of this. <laughs> Off right there. You are not hurt, are you, Link? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <gasps> Link. 
Look at these murals. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War, and the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! <laughs> All right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. <clears throat> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. That is never a good idea. <laughs> this is the start of a horror movie, man. Alright, hold up. I don't know if we should go deeper, but whatever, man. Whatever progresses the plot. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I guess it is Hylians. I don't know if I said that before, right? But, you know. I was just gonna go with it, really. Uh, damn, I don't know if. Uh, I don't know how, how everything's connected, really. You could have so many theories on this, but at the end of it, you just gotta see this shit through. So, yeah, I'm super excited about this. Fuck, man. It's kind of spooky. This is like, uh, there you guys seen. If you guys seen the movie Barbarians, it's kind of reminding me of that. 
Except this ain't no Airbnb. Oh, man. Ah, uh, not yet. Just kidding. What is that? So much to say right now. First of all, that shit with his arm. Straight up out of Princess Mononoke. Is that?
Ah, Link. Finally, you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were so sorry about that. Okay. Sorry, folks. I guess Fear. got down cuts. I'm relieved bro. to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Oh, all right. Fuck. So much has happened already. Nah, bro. Oh, fuck. Fuck. That's all I got. Damn. How are you holding that, bro? Whatever. <laughs> see, see the controller scheme? Where the Y is where the X is and where the A should be is the B. Fuck. They should have just kept the same format as like everyone else, you know? Even if... Even if it's everyone's... Like everyone else's, you know? It's just like... Bro. Right now I'm playing on a... Not a pro controller, but it's something like a pro controller. It's... I could disconnect it with like a USB C and honestly I could play this I could use the same controller in the PC and it could detect the buttons. Even though the buttons say A is right here and B is right there and X and so on. Like they fucking get it. I guess I'm gonna go up there at one point and just, yeah, just do that. Yeah, so, same mechanics, jump, of course you got your little stamina wheel on the side, and yet I jump again. I don't know why it says jump for A. <laughs> I guess it's just for... Dramatic effect. Landing in water. Yeah. And we got a little treasure going on. Cool. Ah, oh, finally some goddamn pants. Alright. I look like a barbarian. Look at this. Ah oh, damn. Alright. So. Fuck. I wouldn't think that was like Ganondorf, but. I don't know. She did mention it was like somebody else. So he's like, what, the first iteration of Ganondorf? And. Whoa. We're about to jump this bitch? Okay. Good, bro. 
but let's do it in a such a dramatic way. Alright. Yeah, boy. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you call a motherfucking intro. Damn, when I saw it accelerate, I was like, god damn, really? Shouldn't we, like, take it down a notch? But, no. Oh. Fuck it. Ooh. All this shit, bro. So, as he was falling down, I was just thinking that this map is way more different than anything else. Because now that we're dealing with, you know, pieces out, or, you know, little islands or little sky islands or lands, if you will. I mean, that becomes part of the map. So, there's Earth, and then there's, like, this shit. Get out of here, bro. I'm gonna hit you with my stick. Alright, let's see what he has. Soldier construct horn. Like. Soy Knight charge. Is this is Soy Knight technology. Oh. So I guess we open Pandora's box. And. What the hell? Rest. Okay. Chill. Yeah, that's kind of different. I mean, wait. Is it different? I don't remember that from uh, Breath of the Wild. Alright. So we got this. Got our first enemy. Walking around with my goddamn stick. And I'm in the fucking sky. Wearing nothing but this. I wonder if I missed something. Fuck. Hey man. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but my first reaction was to fucking hit it with a stick. Zelda's still alive somewhere. Where she is. I got my fucking camera back. So, yeah, this is actually from Breath. And ironically, it looks like a fucking Switch itself. Yeah. See? So I guess this is like the first level. Of a much bigger map that we're gonna be dealing with. The 
the garden of What is this? I demand answers. Okay. What do they have going on in here? Whenever I see that, I guess I go to a bridge. It opens up a bridge. I can climb this. Of course, I could climb that. Man. I think what just makes breath so revolutionary. Let me talk to this guy. game come on man the fucking the question this shit for anywho's yeah I think what makes this so revolutionary is just well not this game but uh was just the fact that you could go anywhere in the map and you could just go there and you could climb you have a whole system that really experiences the adventure aspect of it all and I feel that this just pushes the envelope a little bit more. I mean, I just seen the scope of what this game is about, but this is so much more to see and experience. And I'm about to beat this fool's ass. Ow! Too spent, okay. Honestly, I'm just gonna beat everyone's ass. But with a counter, I'm just gonna get as much as I can, do as much as I can. Let me just explore a little bit. Not shit, bro. Ooh. Pigeon! Yeah, like I said, adventure. You just could go anywhere and you really don't are restricted or restricted to like one thing or another. It's just wherever you go, that's where you go. Whatever you complete, that's where you complete. There's nothing that's set in order. I'm guessing this game's not gonna be any more of an exception. Alright. And I yep. found more apples, and arrows, and all this. An apple away keeps the doctor away. But what if I want to see the doctor? What if I want to see her for recreational purposes? You know? Like she just knows how to really... Alright. I'm being a sicko right now. Aha. No pun intended. I just like how this whole thing is just 
like you discover like one thing and it's like oh wow the environment really is very interactive you know like look at this like i literally swing my fucking stick right on this fire i mean that's something i could do at wow but i'm just explaining the mechanics of it all where you could literally light the shit in fire on fire and then it lights them on fire so it's like a whole mechanic thing going on or a reaction or you know a consequence going on so i like the play of like elements in this but if you don't want this thing on fire then you could just do this to switch it over and then you go back to the other one i don't know why i did that but you know no fire see little loopholes like that i know this is super simple and people who probably already played this game already know this shit but eh. Sky shrooms? Oh my god, what is sky Sorry, I know I had this, but it's like discovering this. Discovering it, yeah. But honestly, I'm taking my sweet ass time. Hmm? I don't have an arrow. I don't have a bow. I thought they went instinct. The first thing you do when you see something extinct, you either want to kill it or eat it. And I definitely want to eat these motherfuckers. Come here. I just want to take the top off. Come on, man. Uh oh. Alright. It's okay. Got plenty of these. <laughs> So, I think the deal with these guys is that uh, the other definitely is Zornai technology guards, but since I'm not one of them, they're just attacking me for whatever reason that they're programmed to, which is to protect. Ooh, I'm gonna use a long stick. I know it's a whole lot less, but fuck it, you know? Yeah. Donatella time. Wait, was it Donatella? I don't know. I don't know which turtle had the staff. Just like keep going for the exploring. Uh, okay, you could totally see what parts are like loading and stuff. And it's like Pandora. So I mean, from a 2D boss view perspective, how the map is showing it. It seems like they're just regular lands, you know, but from the 3D perspective, this could have easily been like a map and stuff. I mean, a map. fucking a mountain or a hill that I could climb, go up, but instead it's just, the uh, fuck. I mean, it's floating, so that's cool. I mean, kudos to the team that just like thought about like, what if we just had like floating islands? And that's basically the map. No harm done, I was about to attack you, but then I realized I could talk to you.
Gegner. So let me just hold this. Ah. Ah. It hit a burn it like that. Okay, so how do you do it? It just toast things. I usually cook things. Okay, hold on. I mean, I don't think they're gonna burn. I think they're just gonna get toasty. Tuesday. Wow. <laughs> so I guess you don't really have to cook them. Yes. I don't know if that's anything new. Maybe I could have done it in breath. I don't know. I'm debating whether to call the last game just breath or just fucking wow. Breath, wow. Breath, uh, go, wow. My stick. to eat my toasty ass fucking shrooms. Hand. Jesus Christ, it is straight up out of this moment. Okay, I wonder whatever touched him has like a special ability, and then by him being healed like that, that door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry, I did not intend to startle you. The quest now, it was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am wrong. Ah. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. 
it seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Ah. The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. The objective's over there. Why the hell is it here? Whatever. Raru. That's a name I haven't heard in such a long time. So, if I'm not mistaken, Raru <coughs> is a guardian. I guess in terms of like Ocarina of Time, Raru was a character that got introduced. Actually, uh, many theorized, I'm not theorized, but it's confirmed that he was the owl in Ocarina of Time and in human form, he was the light medallion. Medallion. Ooh, Harold. He was the light medallion in. The adult quest for Ocarina of Time. So he's basically the first medallion you get as a grown up Link. And his name was Raru. Except he did not look like that. He was the. a ball headed, hefty ass dude. Well, not hefty. That was more really a beast, but hey, who's to say? And he did not look like that. So, I mean. When it comes to Zelda games, you get different iterations of characters that you met in previous games. And in the new ones or old ones, there's different versions of that same character. Um, and, of course, if you follow the fucking Zelda timeline, you know, there are different, time there are different lifetimes that this game iterations take place. I mean, except this one. This one's straight up a sequel. And we haven't had like a direct sequel since Majora's Mask or um, there's other games that were straight up sequel. I guess like the first Zelda game and then the, there was a second one which is called like Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. I, I guess that will be like a direct sequel. Not too sure I could be wrong on that. Nobody yell at me. But if you want to correct me. Respectfully, please do so in the comment section. Yeah, I'm not here to be a fucking expert and say these things are right. And seriously, like, why the fuck when they put up? Honestly, I did that shit by mistake, but I'm glad I did it. So that way I could like point out. Huh? This thing out. So yeah. The whole use of this thing is... I mean... In the first one you could hold it and then basically point shit out. Oh, no way, that's I'm getting confused. Restrooms. So yeah, that's basically your whole map. I'm using. No, no, no. This is the function. Yeah, this is the function to point out. And then you can just put a pen anywhere. And I'll just put it right there. Automatically. 
It's motion controls. Do that. Not. Okay. This is gonna get crazy. Might as well take these two out. Just wanted to show, in case you never play this game. Ooh, our first ride. So, I guess I got to my first shrine. In the shrines, you basically do a little trial. And you get an orb. You collect those orbs to move ahead. Or, you know, get more hearts, lives, or whatever, what have you. Oh my god, these shrines are different. I like the loading screen. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my arm back. Wait. So he did he give me his arm? Or Like, originally that's his arm, not last mine. So, um, he basically made me an amputee and then replaced his arm with mine. Two mine. Uh, oh, mm. okay. I heard about this. Mm. All right, bye, dude. Ah. So. Okay, they switch around a lot of things. So the pad up now is for food and all this shit. But that used to be for the little abilities. Now the abilities just to. Is now L if you hold L and then you go here. Like I wonder if they're gonna have like the magnetism and um stasis and those abilities back. Uh, not too sure for um the one with the eyes. But this is our first one, so yeah. <laughs> Use the force. I like how they highlight the shadow of it, like where it's gonna land. This gonna. Okay. <laughs> Could have just done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna be long enough. Okay, so basically, stays. Uh, stasis. Um, basically, this is magnetism, really. I think this is gonna replace the magnetism. Because you could only move like metal objects, but apparently, you can move like any type of object. Do like Yeah bro. Good. This is my turn. This is pretty cool actually. I felt just the way that the 
this is like moving it from the X and Y axis reminds me of like a lot on um, simulation games where you, you're basically just building stuff and then you're just placing it so but, like that's kind of cool I guess but fuck, I'm trying to figure out how to fuck do this shit I don't know long enough to get through this. So, wait, do you climb these? I don't know why I always get this shit confused. No, you can't climb. Oh. oh, great. What am I to do? What if I just create a little leverage on myself so that way I can somehow this just like push it. Oh, duh, you could attach it. Okay, use this, right? Oh, yeah, right, blue. Then, use this. Put on top. Now, I got this weird ass fucking thing. just like stick it make this get this thing out I don't know why I keep doing that I'm sorry just bear with me please and then this becomes a whole ass fucking thing and then now, uh, let me use this. Which I don't fucking hit myself. Wait, I'm probably gonna hit myself. To do one big ass, long ass one. I don't know. It's too complicated. It takes me a while to do. Or does it take me a while, but. I do weird shit out of desperation. Yeah. Yesterday it took me a while to solve a puzzle from breath. That yeah. maybe could have taken me like three minutes, but it took me five or six. Okay. Now that I know the mechanics of it. I'm guessing this just Motherfucker. Okay. I don't know why I keep holding it. I just do this. Okay. 
and this gets the Cerritos. Ah, fuck. Okay, I'm getting confused now. So, I'm gonna use this and catch it. Yeah. Just press it once. See? That's what I mean. I didn't get the... Oh shit! Uh! It's okay. I can just bring it back. I was just wondering what those balls were from that for. Do I need these balls? Of course you do. You're mad. Okay, I guess I can't stick this. Let's just go ahead and do this thing. God damn it. I don't have to hold it. Let's do this. Simple enough. Went through this whole shit. Nanigans. Oh. I guess it's not a fucking... Yogi dude. The corpse of a... <laughs> a yogi corpse. <laughs> That's... I, I'm gonna just call it that. I don't know what those things were. In the last one. Another statues, so I guess that's cool. And there's the orb. Yep. It's healing my hand. All right, Princess Morning. Okay. I'm gonna get my arm back. All right. Well, that went well. All right. So that was, I guess that's the first of the shrines. I wonder how many there are total. Oh. I guess I could just go back. <laughs> the hell was that? Jesus. Jesus. So, yeah, I guess. I mean, this is just the intro, really. This is where the tutorials are displayed and you really get the run of the game uh it's probably going to be more tutorials along the game just to get used to the mechanics of this new game the new added features i guess uh, this is just the first Fuck. i kept thinking i have like my uh, what the hell is that shit ball? Kite? No, it's not a fucking kite. Huh? 
But yeah, I'm, I'm guessing whatever I had like from the last game, I'm probably gonna get it later on. Hopefully soon. I'm like so used to being fully equipped from the last from the last game. Not that you began fully equipped, but I was so far at, the, at that point when I played Breath of the Wild last night. Wait, how many do I need? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I was supposed to do that. So he doesn't even know how much I need. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, so our, our adventure log is now in this menu. What is it? Okay. Relics? I don't know. Ah, so all the pictures she took in the prologue are in this. Ah. Huh. Okay. So, let's try to do one more. Yeah. Let's see. Go to the map. Um. Where is there another one? Oh, okay. Time to use this. There it is. That's how you utilize it. See? Well, I mean, I already knew, but I'm just showing you guys. It's all so fascinating. So, I have to get there. Alright, fuck it. Suppose we have time. Uh,. I don't know how many parts I'm gonna do to this, but hopefully it should be. Ah, oh, fuck! I drowned. Okay. See, if you're using your stamina, especially in the beginning, be resourceful of it. Because if you get too tired and then you swim, your ass is gonna drown. All right. Here we go. So, for the podcast today, I, so here's my thing, I can't figure out how to have Manny comment with me while we're using something like Discord. And we're both watching it, he could hear the game source from his end, and of course obviously I could hear it from my end. And we could both comment on that. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out, and while streaming it, all on Twitch. But fuck, I don't know. I've seen so many videos, and just the fact that the Switch can't fucking connect to fucking. Oh shit. Okay. Can't connect to something like. I mean, not just Discord, but also Twitch. Like, like I had to get a video card. Just to connect the HDMI to my freaking PC and then and so on and so on. Okay, I'm gonna need something else to like get. Okay. Okay, so Yeah. This whole section is fucking cool as hell. So I'm gonna have to explore other options or other ways to go around. Not around it, but I still can't fucking go around and just find something until it's suitable for me to climb up the mountain so I won't fucking have to freeze my balls off. So, I mean, that's how the game is. Environments and all that, like I said. Um, I could like do a couple of shrooms. Good idea. 
So, this is cooking. Do this. And you cook. What the fuck did he just do? Oh. Yay. Okay. You know what? I knew it. I knew it. Let me just go up here. Eat my shit. And, you know, when you cook food, there's always perks. And in this case, cold resistance for 12 minutes and 30. Alright. It should keep me warm so I can get up. I'll probably do that. Let me just save. Yeah. It's always cool to save when you're doing something like this because you never know what might get in your way. And you basically have to fucking start over again. So, I mean, it's a fucking bitch. But that's true of everything in every game, really. So, if you're. Luckily for this game, so it's just, you know, you could save at any given time, really. Um, I can go right way. Do I have to go up here and then fuck? See? This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so it seems like I could just go right here. I don't know if I could climb up. I don't know if I have the stamina to do that. I'm gonna try it. Just to, like, cut corners. I don't want to fucking go in that fucking water. It's a... Uh, I see surface are stick. Ah, you're a bitch. Alright. Alright. I totally forgot I had arrows. Let's talk to this thing. Okay, I meant to go here. So you certain things are straightforward and this is the only way you can go through your journey. But this is, like I said, this is the beginning so you get to learn little things here and there. So... You can make, you can make items. And... Oh, that's what they are. See? You get items, and then you learn their functions. In this case, you use this energy to use devices. So, be mindful of your energy reserves. Yeah. Being resourceful is everything that Breath of the Wild has revolutionized in games. I mean, it's a survival, but also it's yeah, it's mostly just a survivor, really. <laughs> and an adventure action, action adventure game. Yeah. So, okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how do you use it? Can I just like? I wasn't paying attention. Um, look at it. Okay, now I have to figure out how to like. Wait. What creates when? Fire. Did I just hit it like that without the fire? I'm sorry. Nope. You like stop this, I wouldn't have to use it.
Okay, hold on. Just to make sure. You hit it? Yeah, you don't need to fire. You hit it again. Okay, got it. At the beginning because you do not have enough energy as you do like later as you're advancing in the game okay so if I climb this water I'm gonna freeze my ass off is, it, is that the deal yeah so I'm gonna have to Get this whole ass thing. Oh, I wish I knew that. I wish I just knew that. You know what? This is the learning experience. And I gotta get that ship before we drift even further. God damn it. I just don't have the stamina, man. guys <laughs> yeah I'm just basically using the goddamn force that's what it is let's see okay fuck I can't I guess I can't lift it up really I mean just to a certain degree but if you're climbing up it's just gonna be a little challenging Just uh, look at it a little. Get away. There you go. not gonna work. Of course so far it's gonna take again. Really I had to waste that. I had to waste that. Fuck, I'm gonna run out of time. This is why you save. This is why you fucking save. Wait, the auto save. Nuts. These nuts. Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, these certain things aren't like pretty obvious so you're gonna have to like use your fucking head so I mean I could unstuck all of these and then just make one big old log so I'm guessing that's what I'm gonna do there's just something that I'm missing <laughs> Oh, I can't grab that. 
man. But Richard, bullshit. Okay, so I have more peppers I can use. <laughs> Let's cook these motherfuckers. <laughs> ah, I knew he was something something. <laughs> Huh. Huh. So I can't grab the main ones, but I could grab the ones right here. So I guess that's this fucking challenge. Okay, I'm gonna send this one. Ah. Uh. And use this one to actually get through. So it's within the systems that I can use the Yeah. It's within the distance. Oh. Less in waste energy. This one out of the water. Sorry this is gonna take a while, but this is part of the struggle, man. So... Am I blind? What is this? I can just climb over here. Damn, I'm over here fucking wasting time. Jesus. One of the things about me, I just don't look. I just don't fucking look. But, uh, I guess that's part of the fun, really. So, I'm gonna grab more peppers and I'm gonna cook more on the cooking station here. Ooh, la la. What is this? Looks like he's humming. What is he humming? He's humming like the adventurous uh, version of Zelda, of the Zelda theme, and then also the last one was Saria's. Saria. Uh, Sarah's. Is it Saria or Saria? Oh, fuck. It's Saria. It's Saria's song from Ocarina of Time. so funny to think that how long this how much this game has made an impact well not this game in particular but the whole franchise in general where you know you had a classic adventure game as a 2d platformer and then it went into 3d you get to see the abilities of a 3d environment and i mean us being 3d in a 3d material felt like a realized adventure but, you know, the graphics weren't that good, but it was a revolutionary. Of course, I'm talking about Ocarina of Time, and then every other game has become either 3D, some 2D, but mostly 3D is where it, it shines. But uh, that's just my opinion. People who play Zelda, like, for the longest time has fucking said that the 2D games are what they prefer because that's what they grew up with. Uh, I, of course, grew up playing Ocarina of Time and it came out in 98 uh, and 64 was like my first console really no bitch you can't have your fucking stick should probably switch that out
What? I got it. I don't need to plug every time. Okay. So, we got through here. We are moved we'll to the top. Another way out around. Though I can't use those fucking boats. I can see this here. It's like I know. Dude. When in doubt, look behind. Nothing. What does that sound? I think I triggered something. I'm not too sure what it is. What the hell is that? This is just me not looking. Yes. Can't in here. It just can't in here. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. I can't climb up. I can't go here. I can't even go in the fucking water. But it must let us to this at this point. This far. Only for us to not get farther again. I don't know. This far. I'm trying to get through this. I mean, there has to be a reason why. This is not fucking good. Seems like I could go through here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there's another way. Is this another way? Better be. Is no gift, man. What fucking gift? There's no way I'm gonna climb way up there. I just realized this part is not icy, so yeah. But also, I can't. Not sure if I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Can't make it much longer. Hard through, man. Hard through. So, 
Damn, everything is a resource. Even your own stamina is a resource, so you can't really like deplete it recklessly. Um, so yeah, everything's a fucking challenge like this. Oh, there you go. Fuck. See? I just gotta use my fucking hat sometimes. Look around. No, I never knew how to like use the plant. Just spark it with it. Oh, right. Yeah, so you just drop this. You just drop it. And then, gotta use a metal. The only metal thing I got here is this. So, yeah. See? So with the shrooms, this shrooms, if you cook them, you can make something that withstands your speed. I was gonna say stamina, but yeah, right. After I'm done using this, I could probably go over there. I'll probably get an ability to climb up like icy surfaces. Or, uh, yeah. Let's see. I hate it. This is so used to fucking running just to get there. And then, of course, stamina system is like, oh, it's gonna be pretty fast. So, again, resources. Instead of the shrines opening a door, like a physical door, and then you enter it like a little temple and then it takes you underground. This one's just has a, like a portal. And it works. It's cool. I like it. Route route. What ability is it? Move upwards. So. Oh. oh, I know this one. I heard about this one. Hmm. You ascend. You could just like climb mm. up mountains much faster. Or terrains. Oh, okay, I guess that's what I'm going to use for the... To go where I just saw those guys. Oh, fuck it. So, yeah, I heard about this. Uh, oh, I seen it. So, let's do this. You can climb over. And then, on top of the surface, you get to see before you go up if there's any enemies or one. And you go up, and it's safe. And there you go. In this case, there's no enemies, so I guess I could just, like... What's up here? You know what? Let me get away from the Just get out. Go through here. See what's good down there. Yeah, really, there's a chest. Fuck the branch. Oh my god, I like this. This is so much fucking better. Oh, I didn't press it. Yes. Wow. Damn, dude. Real good improvement there. 
I'm gonna say I can't like really climb out of nothing. I mean, not surface out of nothing. So you're gonna have to use the surface on top. Go through this. Do that. Yeah. There it is. Picasso. Motion control option is on. Oof. I also got there for a minute, I'm just like, uh... Cool. It's a cool little piece here. Forgetting, I we just do this. You forget, you're just like, oh wait, I could just do that. And now I'm gonna fucking do a lot. Just stop pulling the chip off. Ah, I see. So, if they have a surface like that, I can't use it. Oh, great. So, now what? So, that's a test of that. This? I don't know if this is gonna work. I thought I could climb up there for a minute. Oh shit. Thanks. I'm trying to figure out how to like get up here. I 
me. It's a deal that I really can't fuck with. Oh, I could. I could. Okay, I just didn't have the uh, advantage. You could only go so far from it where you could actually do it. Okay. So once I go. Yeah. Get down through. Please, you have evil. Now take this land, light. I'm like man. Take this light and cleanse yourself of that filth. You know, I would say most men have that type of hand. That's their masturbating hand. Maybe it's a commentary on that. I don't know, but <laughs> kidding. I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's it. I'm good. I guess I could just skip that. All right. Uh, I guess I'll cut it here. Oh, cutting grass. Yeah, I'll cut it here if anything. But I'll probably get another second part soon. Look out for it. Uh, my ass is freezing. Let me just fix that right away. Yeah. The learning. Well, I mean, I already knew how to do this, but this is the basics I have to, like, use my resources the most in the beginning, then I can later on as I advance to a master level. I'm just kidding, not a master level. So, yeah. Breath of the Wild. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom. So far, so good. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.